All right, so yeah, like, uh, check this shit out. Uh, 18 equal temperament. But the thing is, I was tuning it to like force, like the force or like the, if you're gonna tune it like where you tune like the fret, not the harmonic, like the harmonic is always the fourth. You know when you do that, like tune it to the harmonic, but that's not gonna work because the frets don't line up with the harmonic. And so I was tuning it to like fourths, like by ear, like just da da, just tuning the strings and then playing that. But from all this practice, like I figured it out. So for any microtonal guitar that's equal temperament, 18, 19, 20, 30, whatever. Just, you want to play it outside on the exotic sounds, not on like, not trying to like mimic like a blues scale or anything, but just the exotic sounds, the, the out, out there tones. So I tune it to just like a guitar. Fourth, fourth, fourth fret. Fourth fret. See? Fourth fret. And then for the B string, the third, or I mean fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, sorry. Fourth fret for the, the B string, which is a major third. Normally, on this it's not. So that's basically how it's tuned. So now when you play it, it's weird. But the thing is, the positions are similar. Like the frets, when you're skipping the frets, now you can, with, you can hold the same position and expect the, like when you, it goes to the next one instead of not if you tune it to force, it's it's too big for this. So it's when you have the regular force, you have to play it downward so that doesn't work for the chromaticism of the neck of the fretboard that we're used to on 12 tone. So basically my opinion is to use microtonal guitar for exotic, unusual types of music. like Slavic sounding Guzlai or whatever. But I'm gonna put this on and throw on some drums and do a jam. So check it out. And I got this Boss amp, the Katana. It's like the best sounding amp. And they make them like, I guess they make actual cabinet amps with that.